Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Like all things farm sim, there's a million different ways to do something. I'm going to show you about half a million of those ways today. We're looking at hay and grass, silage, maybe straw, <laughs> definitely straw, but uh, basically trying to get the materials together that you need to feed your animals. Um, for example, in this game, if you have sheep, you need grass. If you have horses, you need hay. If you have cows, you need uh, TMR, which includes b straw. It can include straw. It definitely includes hay, and it definitely includes silage. However, <clears throat> there's two types of cows now. We have milk cows and non-milk or meat cows. The limousine cows are an example of cows that do not produce milk. You can feed those cows hay because you don't need them to produce milk. But if you want them to produce milk, you need to feed them only TMR. So we have animals that require it, pigs that require straw to make manure, cows require straw to make manure, horses need straw for bedding, they also make manure, sheep do not require straw. So I'm gonna teach you today how to make all these materials. It's fairly simple. We start off in stages. The first stage is simple. You're going to mow. This will give you grass. If you've got sheep, that's all you need to do. You will then take a baler, not this one, <laughs> but a square, big square baler or a little square baler or a little round baler with no wrapper or this Pottinger wagon, and you're gonna collect that grass and you're going to feed it to the animals. If you have cows after you mow, you're going to take about half of that grass and you're going to use one of these. You're going to use a baler that has a wrapper or you're going to make a big square bale and you're going to wrap it or you're going to make a, you're going to rent a wrapper because this one has one built in, but you can also rent wrappers or buy them. Uh, you can get a square bale wrapper. However, be aware that this baler is the only one of the group. You cannot make silage with this baler. It's too small. You can't wrap the bales, so you'll never have silage. But this one, you can, you know, you make the bales and then come back and wrap them later and turn them into silage. And this one does it for you. It's got the wrapper built in. And once again, this one, you'd also have to rent a wrapper or buy a wrapper. If you want silage from this guy, <laughs> you're going to have to collect the grass, put it in a silo, ferment it overnight. And I'll do a silage tutorial to cover that because that's a little bit more in depth. And honestly, um... You could do it this way, but it's it's much easier to do um, silage on a larger scale using corn than it is to do grass. But you can do grass, and I'll show you a little bit how to do that. So moving on to the next set of animals. Let's say you have horses, or you have meat cows that need hay. Well, the first thing you're going to do is mow. Then you're going to take a second step here of tedding. Tedding will turn the grass into a hay status. Now, in real life, the guys, what they do is they mow, and they let it sit for a day or two, and then they come back with the tedder. They flip the grass over in the sun and let it sit out there and dry, and it becomes hay as it dries. But in the game, all you got to do is run this over it, and it becomes hay. Uh, from that point, then, once you have your hay bale, you will not wrap the hay. Uh, this device is nice because it does not automatically wrap hay. It won't, in fact, it won't wrap hay. So you can use this baler, this baler, any of the balers that we have here can work to make hay bales. Or you can collect that hay into this unit. And we have a barn available, and I'll show you what that looks like, under silos. This very first ugly European silo. <laughs> you can put 250 liters of hay in this and also 250 liters of straw. So you can use this as a storage facility for collecting once again i've chosen a two tractors from a single brand landini and mccormick are the same company and i thought i these are new for the game in 2022 so i thought i'd bring them in uh mccormick i see all the time here where i live lots of people lots of farmers have them and also uh the o odot the ohio department of transportation uses mccormick to mow the sides of the freeway and they have john deere too and new holland but i do see mccormick's pretty frequently Landini I don't see as often. I've seen a couple Landini tractors in my life in real life. I think it's more of a European company than it is an American company. But um, they're nice tractors. Those of you that are familiar with Stara, uh, they, uh, Landini also manufactures the Stara tractors. 
So McCormick, Landini, Stara are all the same brand. However, the, the Landini tractors, or the, I'm sorry, the Stara tractors that we have in-game are uh, old school. They're not the new versions. They're the older versions. So what we have on here is our mower set. You can see this is the one that I suggest that you purchase at the beginning if you can. Uh, you need about a 250 horsepower tractor. I think this tractor is 240 to run this set. But we have a single mower up front and then a dual mower in the back. Now, the nice thing about this Pottinger set is that, uh, and I'll show you which ones. We'll take a look at the three of them. The Novacat set allows you to wind row and to uh, just do normal mowing with uh, the setup. You can you don't have to have a wind rower if you have this, uh, unless you're making hay. If you're making hay, then you're still going to need a wind rower. But if you're not making hay and you're just making silage, well, this is the perfect kit for you. So... Um, let's take a look real quick at the mowers and what we have available in game. This is base game once again. I'm not don't need mods. There are plenty of mods. Yes, I know this mod does that and that mod does this and there's one that's 50 feet wide and there's one that is a million feet wide and we're not covering that today. We're talking about what's in the game. So um, got basic mower. If you have a really little tractor, you can use the step noozle that runs forwards and backwards. We can also use this very low. Once again, this is 40 horsepower. This one requires 85. So it's a very small tractor once again. Uh, you can drag this behind. This one's a little harder to mow with because it stays off and to the right, but anyway, it works. Uh, here's another side mower. This one detaches to the back of a tractor and then swings out to the uh, right, and it mows along there. Now, you could use this mower or this mower, the Sep Canoosel, with this and run two mowers at the same time. Just remember, you got to add the horsepower, so you need a 120-horsepower tractor. Maybe 150 would be a good good bottom line um but you could run two mowers at once once again these don't windrow so you're gonna have to get a windrower here's a full set that you can do these gmds you can run on the front and the back however be aware they do not windrow it's not a big deal but you're gonna have to buy a windrower to collect so then we have the elo once again does not windrow this is a weird mower it's meant to go on a tractor that runs backwards it can go with the Voltra. Um, that intro vulture that we have that comes with a lot of the farms, the big one, it's 190 horsepower. You can run this just fine. You put that on the back of the tractor and you reverse the driving direction. The vulture and a couple of the fence, I think all the vultures can reverse direction. Anyway, a lot of the tra a few of the tractors in the game can actually reverse direction, and I'll show you what that means. Um, like, what are you talking about, Arthur? Well, I'm going to show you. I believe the fence can too, um, but we'll take a look. If you look here, you can see there's a little steering wheel back there. And so the mower goes on the back of the tractor, and you flip the seat around, and now the tractor, this is going to be forward for the tractor, and it's going to run this way. And that mower goes on the front. So you run this backwards, but with that mower on the front. Pretty easy. Uh, let's take a look. I think not very many of these tractors have reversible steering. I don't believe this one does. Nope. Let's take a look at the bigger. Deutz does it? Nope. <laughs> McCormick? The big McCormick? Nope. <laughs> okay, so my dreams are, are, are dash. Don't use that mower. Um, <clears throat> but you can use it anyway. You don't have to run it backwards. You can run it either way, but it's supposed to run the other way. All right, this is the kit that we're using. And once again, like I said, this one's nice because you can cross flow and you can windrow. Same thing for the Kong's Clyde. Uh, the only problem with the Kong's Clyde is that it's... Um, it's really big. It requires a lot of horsepower. So you're looking at 350 horsepower tractor to run both units. Um, and it's double the price for two more meters or six more feet of mowing. So is it really worth it? This is probably the better deal, honestly. If you want to get really crazy with mowing, you can always go to uh, your tractors and go into mowers. And you have this giant Crone Big M450 that also mows and windrows like the kit that we have. Does all the same things that we have today on ours, but it's just a dedicated mower. Pretty cool mower. It is bigger, obviously. Um, so first we're going to make spread out grass. You'll see what I'm talking about. Hang on. Put that down. Put those down. And we're going to mow half this field for hay. And half of it's going to be for silage. So... For the hay portion, we want to leave it spread out like this.
And there's our equipment over there. But as you can see how quickly we mow. This is a very efficient kit. You can cover a lot of grass real quick with this. I mean, to be honest with you, we don't really need to make that much hay. I'm just showing you a demonstration, so it's not like we need tons of hay. So when I get down to the end of this row, we're going to switch modes. I'm going to show you how to do that using our menu. And you can see here there's our menu up in the upper left-hand corner. And you can see we have the wide spreading mode selected. You're going to laugh at me. I'm going to hire a worker real quick here and then fire him, and that will shut off the mowers. Watch. There you go. <laughs> see how easy that was? Um, now, we've left some grass, but I'm not getting real picky on this. Okay, so now we're going to select our back mower, and it's set for widespreading. I don't want that. I'm going to have it. Now we're going to windrow it so that we can collect it for silage. So I'm going to toggle the work mode by holding down the right bumper and pressing my left joystick. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. One thing that I forgot to show you is as we were mowing, we could have made that a little wider because this... If you hold down the, the right bumper, you can actually extend out the mowers. Now, you don't want to do this when you're windrowing, though, like what we're going to do. But you can extend those out and make the swath even wider. Um, that's pretty cool. It gets you probably another foot, foot and a half. I'm going to bring that back in. But uh, I just figured out today that that, hap that, that works. So you can actually spread those out. So now you'll notice that because I have that work mode on, I probably should show this before I start taking off. No, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Um, what you can see here, the different work modes. I've got a right open, left open, and both open. And I'll show you what those other modes are for. This is making windrows, and this is spreading it all over the field. So we want to make windrows now. So there we go. We've got them closed. Let's go ahead and put that down. Same thing for that big mower that I showed you, the... <laughs> the crone and you can see now see the difference instead of spreading grass all over the field we're putting it in a nice row in the center of the field making it much easier for our baler to collect So now I'm going to show you a really cool function of this specific mower kit. And once again, this is also true of our, um, the Crone Big M also does this mode. And this is like, so let's say over here, looking back at my fields, I probably made way more silage grass than I made hay grass. <laughs> and in other words, I, I, I spread out the stuff for hay and then I made my silage grass. And I think I made like three times as much silage grass. And so you go, well, how can I make it so that my fields, I know for sure I'm getting an even amount of each? Well, you could really pay attention to mowing half. Or there's this neat mode on this specific tractor. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So I'm going to make it so that on the right, we're going to have, actually on the left, I'm going to make it to the left. And I'm going to spread that out there like that. We're going to have this tractor do a hybrid mode. It's going to make a windrow in the middle. And it's also going to make a spread out mode for hay. Now, when we go to collect, we'll collect the grass first, and then we'll go back and, with the tether and make hay, windrow it, and then collect that. But this allows you to make sure that you're doing it evenly on your fields, mostly. It's kind of a cool technique. And I, was, I always wondered why it did this, and I finally figured out how to do this, so watch what happens now. So you can see on the left, we have grass spread out, but on the right, we have a nice windrow. And that gives us both of what we need for silage and for hay. And so I'm going to mow this, and you'll see how we do this and ha handle all this mess. Because once again, the end goal is to prepare food, and this is going to be what you do for cows, because you need both hay <coughs> and silage for cows. So this is our cowing method. I made that up. Could you tell? <laughs> I 
So we have a couple more things to go over with the bailing once we get to that section. Because there's a lot. There's, I know this is a lot of information. I'm trying to present it to you in a way that'll make sense. And it's one of the reasons why I run the tractor, so you can actually see it in action and go, oh, that's what he's doing. Because at first it doesn't make sense when I say it, but then when you see me do it, hopefully that'll cement it for you, and you'll go, oh, that makes sense. So anyway, I'm going to finish this. It'll probably take one or two more passes. I'll see you when we're done. All right, so we finished up. I'm going to put this really cool mower set away. And, um, yeah, so we have a bunch of grass and a bunch of grass. Uh, and so what we need to do now is we need to collect up the grass. And there's, like I said, there's two ways to do this. I'm, I'm not going to go over full-on silo silage creation, but I'll show you how to make silage with bales. Uh, maybe we should. I don't know. What do you guys... Uh, you guys probably want me to, don't you? Urgh. Fine. I'll show you how to do both. But it's a pain. I'm telling you that right now. Um, but we might as well do it all. So, what's Arthur talking about? Well, there's two ways to make silage now. Um, and that is... Here's hay. We're staying away from this grass. This is the stuff we're looking at. We have these lanes of grass. What are you going to do with it? You don't really want to just sell grass. You want to turn it into silage or feed it to your sheep. So if you have sheep, this is almost the end stage. You're going to grab a baler with no wrapper. Once again, no wrapper. If you wrap it, it's going to become silage, and then you can't feed it to the sheep. So you need one of these or one of these or one of these. If you try to wrap the grass with this baler, you are going to end up um, turning it into silage, which you don't want to do. So don't use one with a wrapper. You just want to get grass. So right now, if you have sheep, you can go out here with your baler and make your bales. And let's go ahead and make a couple grass bales. And I'm going to pick, we don't need to do all three of the balers. I'm going to pick the one baler that's kind of the mid-sized one here. And that's this Pottinger. And I'm going to make a couple grass bales. And then you would use a forklift to deliver them to your sheep and feed them. Okay. Or you could do the collection wagon. And I'll show you that in a sec, too. So we're about to get our first of the three kind, well, four kinds of bales that we can get in this game. And there you see we're 100% full. And so we have a grass bale. And that's, you can feed that right to the sheep. The sheep will eat that. It'll disappear and it'll go into the sheep pen pen. And they're going to munch that grass up and be happy. Um, the second thing that we could do to feed the sheep. We're going to go grab this because this is the other type. Now, once again, you could use that big baler too, but it, uh, I mean, it works. It'd be, it would be the same exact thing. Or you could use that really tiny baler, but then you got a lot of bales you got to deal with. Um, I actually use the tiny baler a lot because I oftentimes have smaller farms with smaller tractors, and um, it's easier to, to use. If you watch my French sear, the French farm series, Haute Bayron, uh, I'm using one of those balers with the collector, or the accumulator. And I, I get piles of 14 of those, and then I feed them to my animals that I don't have yet. So I currently sell them. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is I'm just collecting this. I'm not bailing it. Now be aware. <laughs> you cannot store. Remember I showed you guys that barn where you can store hay and, sh and straw. You can't straw. You can't store grass in there. So you'll have to keep it in here. But if if you have sheep. You know, this is the easiest thing. You don't even need a baler, to be honest with you. This is the best way to do it. I'm going to tell you that right now. As a sheep owner, you just park this in the facility where you have your sheep or in a barn next to the sheep. And then when they need to eat, you pull it up next to the sheep and you dump the grass into their pen. And then you're done with it. That's it. Pretty easy. And you have grass. So uh, I would recommend that you just keep this full up and then, you know, once in a while mow and fill it up and... And then uh, take it over to your sheep and feed your sheep and, and keep it filled all the way. 
and park it. And that, to me, is the easiest way to deal with the sheep. So, I, I would, like I said, we showed you the baler and stuff, but I, I would honestly stick with this method for sheep. This is the easiest way to feed them. And it's no fuss, no muss, no, no having to pick up, no, no, no forks, no trailer to have to put bales on. Just a little storage space to park it inside. That's all I would do is keep it covered, and you'll be fine. In real life, I don't think they do that. In real life, I think you have to get the grass out because it would ferment, uh, making silage. Uh, but in the game, it doesn't do that. So now, last but not least, we're going to look at making silage. And this is probably the most important thing. Why would you make silage? Well, your cows need it if they're going to produce milk. So these rows of grass that are nice and neat that we've made that aren't spread all over the place, we're not making hay, we're making silage from grass. So you cannot make silage from hay. You have to make it from grass. So we're going to go ahead and make silage. And here's the thing, okay? If you don't have cows, but you have a nice, decent-sized grass field that you're not using, you could plow it under and put a crop on it, or... You could buy one of these that wraps them, and you can make silage bales from your grass and then sell it because silage per acre is the most valuable crop in the game. And because it's grown with grass, it regrows for free. I would say it's almost overpowered because here's the thing. In this game, every commodity is driven by the time of year and how much you've sold. If I grow wheat on these fields... During the summer, the wheat's not worth very much. During the winter, it's worth more, but it's still not worth a ton. And then when I'm done with it, I have to replant it, reseed it, fertilize it, all this other crap. With grass, not so. It just regrows. I don't have to do any reseeding. It's free. And the bales, <laughs> they don't fluctuate with market price. If you sell these bales at the animal market... Every single bale is sold for the same amount of money every time. Doesn't matter what time of year. So you're given a fixed price, and the price is high. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, off of this field, like these sets of fields uh, that I've mowed, we're looking at probably forty to fifty thousand dollars in bales, maybe more. So just keep that in mind. There's a lot of money to be made with these silage bales. Um, so if you're not feeding them to your cows, you can make serious money with them or do both. Save some for your cows and, and sell some. But that is a big hint right there. Why would you want to make these? Well, that's why. So you're going to use one of these. Now, let's say, and I'm just going to throw this out there because I, I want to make sure we cover everything. Let's say I didn't have a baler that had this wrapper on it. I had that, that pottinger instead, and I got this bale, which I did. We have this grass bale right here. Okay, what am I going to do with this? I don't have sheep. I don't want to sell it because it's not worth anything. It's really worth very little. I can go to the store and I can rent or buy one of these. I can rent a round bale wrapper. I would stay away from these. These are different. We'll cover those some other time. Uh, they're probably in their own tutorial because they're a unique device, but we don't need them right now. But we have this Cavernland C, and what this does is this wraps round bales. And it's fairly cheap to lease it. You're looking at a thousand bucks you'll make that back with the sale of one of those bales so it is worth if you have a bunch of grass bales big either round or square but not the little square you can't wrap the little ones but the big square bales or the round bales you can rent um one of these devices to wrap them. now I, I gotta be careful what i say this one only does round bales okay we have to go to this one if you have square bales from like the coon or the um uh, our big baler that we have out there, the crone baler, the square baler. If we have those big bales, we have to have this specific wrapper because this one does both. Now, this one's a little more expensive. It's going to be 2700 to lease. But once again, if you sell two bales, you've paid for it. And then you're going to get more than two bales off your fields. So, um, so yeah, so we have that. Or you can buy it if you want to, if you have the money to buy it, you can buy it outright. But this one does, I would say if you can afford it, get this one because it does both round and square. It's more flexible. But if you're only going to be using round bales, you might as well save $30,000 and buy this one. So uh, we will use this in this tutorial. I'll show you this in a little bit. So once again, feed the sheep or wrap. That's our, that's our goal with this. We've wrapped these now. You'll notice that these are at 0%. OK, you're going to have to wait a couple days. It takes two days almost for these bales to turn from grass 
into silage. So you can't just go sell them right now. You got to sit on them. And you can see down on the bottom right there where it says bale, it says owned by me. It's got 3,500 liters and it's fermenting. It's 0% fermented. In two days, that'll reach 100% and then I can use it to feed to my cows or I can sell it. But that's how that works. So just be aware of that. So I wanted to grab that big square baler and show you one of the, one or two of those because we'll wrap a couple of those too. Um, so let's go ahead and leave this here and I'm going to go grab that baler. I'll be back. All right. So we got our crone baler. Once again, there's several of these brands to pick from. You don't have to have the Crone one. The Crone one's, I think, the most expensive. Uh, we have Case. There's a Case one, I believe. I know there's Kuhn, Pottinger. Uh, and so the nice thing about these square balers, there's a couple sizes you can pick. And I, I, I think I just have it, yeah, the smallest bale size right now, 220. Maybe that's the medium one. I think it's 200, 220, and 240. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, this baler is nice because it puts, you know, a lot of material into one bale. I believe 9,000 liters or something like that. So um, you're going to get these huge bales that you can use to feed the animals and store and all that stuff. And it's pretty, pretty efficient. Um, the downside is, you know, it's, it's they're big and they're expensive. And that's, you know, they require a big tractor to pull. You can see here this tractor is probably a little on the small end for this heart, this uh Baylor. Now, I'm going to show you over here on this side. Remember we did that where we did the half mow, that weird thing? This is how you handle this. So you've got your stuff that's going to be hay in the middle, and our windrows are on the side. So we're going to collect these windrows with this baler, and then we'll move on to the hay part. So once again, I'm making grass bales. Well, what the heck am I going to do with those, you say? Well, we talked about that. We got two choices. One... Well, three, really. One, we can sell them for almost nothing. Not worth doing. Two, we can give them to our sheep, and that's really what they're for. Or three, we can wrap them and turn them into silage. And so that's probably what we'll do with these. Um, I, I'm going to rent. I remember I promised you I would show you that coon wrapper. And so we'll, we'll wrap some of these bales so you can see how it works. Uh, and once again, the silage is very valuable and definitely worth wrapping so we're gonna do that we still haven't dropped the bale yet there's these carry so much and that's why they're they're big bales so you don't get a lot of them because they're so many they're so big tell you what if you're playing on console and you're having trouble with the bale limit i think there's a 200 bale limit you're much better using these than the uh, small bales because you can you know these carry so much more material that you 200 of these is like 500 of the small bales I don't know if we have a bale limit on PC. I don't think we do, but I know for console there's a 200 bale limit. So, one of the benefits of PC Master Race. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, once again, when I do my tutorials, I try to keep them as simple as possible, but I also try to keep them as base game as possible. So, you're not going to see any fancy mods or balers that can go 17 miles an hour or you know pickup bins chaser bins that hold you know 50 million liters and yet only weigh as much as a thimble i don't do the cheat mods so um, you won't see any mods on these tutorials simply because i'm trying to make it so that everybody can benefit from these uh, sometimes i'll do mod reviews if i find something that's really really useful and surprisingly with fs22 i've found a lot of mods recently that are really cool and they, they do some really neat stuff so um i i usually am a pretty pessimistic and picky about my mods but fs22 has had a lot of great mods come to it um and some bad ones but a lot of good ones too and you can see here the nice thing about these big big honking bales is that they're heavy they just kind of plop down and you're all set you don't have to worry about them so once again feed the sheep or wrap that's what we've done so we've made two of the three material bales or types of bales that we can make with grass we've made silage and we've made grass bales last but not least we need to make hay bales so i'm going to go ahead and get set up to do hay and uh, we're going to turn this off and drop these last bales that i've made off and uh, you guys can see the hay making process drop it good boy Apple, don't 
All right, so once again, we're looking at this weird area that I did where I did half mow, half, half row, and this is why we did that. We've collected our grass bales. This tether is a little too large. I should have picked a smaller one, but it's what I got. So I got to watch the bales on the sides because I'm going to end up whacking them with my tractor. But I would go with one size narrower to kind of fit that now that we know. But here you can see this. This is turning it right to hay. So you can see the darker color behind us. The lighter color. Wait, the darker color ahead of us and the lighter color behind us. And that's because that has been converted into hay. And so the hay is what we use for, once again, horses. Uh, and we also use hay to feed our, our limousine and whatever the other cows are. Longhorn, I think. They do not become milk cows, so you're going to use hay to feed them. There's no point in giving them TMR. Um, and then uh, last but not least, you, when you make TMR, you make it, uh, if you want to not use any filler, uh, which is straw, you're going to use two bales in the mixer. You're going to use two bales of hay and two bales of silage, and that'll give you the perfect TMR. Um, if you want to use a filler, then you could do two silage, one hay, and a filler, which is straw. And once again, I'm, we're not covering that in this video. We're, we'll do that in the cow video, but I'm just saying, this gives you everything that you need for your cows except for straw. And we'll look at straw last because that's pretty simple. You basically harvest and bale. Uh, all right, so there's that. So we've got some hay made. And we'll, I guess we could do this over here too. I don't, I don't think we need to uh, because you've seen it and really it's all the end result. So we're going to put that down. And now the next step to do this, because we have to get it collected somehow, it's a big mess. You could run back and forth and collect that, but it's going to take you forever. So what we have here is this handy dandy device. Once again, I think I, I overbought size wise. Uh, I bought this wind rower. I think it's too big for the job that we're doing. But... Um, also, oh, you know what? I'll show you. Then we'll do this. If you have, if you don't have mowers like I have that that collect, how my wo my wo how my mower windrows, um, you can always use one of these. And I think this only goes to one side, right? Why is that not dropping? Okay, there we go. Um, and so you can see here, you can, you can buy one of these devices. If your mowers, if let's say you have that cheaper, that cheaper coon kit, or you have, um, you know, like just a single mower up front, you don't have that nice kit that we have that, that windrows for us. You're going to have to use a windrower. Um, uh, this is an expensive one, but they have smaller ones that are a lot cheaper that do the same thing, but this puts it in a nice pile, as you can see. And it'll allow our um, our tractors to come through with their with their baler to or the collection wagon to collect, and that's why we use these. You can see here how this does. I've never used this one before. This is kind of a unique. Wind rower, and we'll watch. We'll go down the other side, and we're going to get doubly, double the amount. So this has turned this into grass, right? We got grass here, and it's staying grass. But like I was saying, if you need to make silage bales, but you don't have a double mower like we had, if you used any of those other mowers that don't collect, then you're going to need one of these to collect. And there's all kinds available. Once again, let's look in the shop. So because I'm, I'm saying there's all kinds, I probably should show you. Um, we have these wind rowers. All of these are little ones, uh, and then you can go to like a mid-sized one that unfolds. Uh, and I believe this has two wheels, but maybe this only has one. And that's only a single wheel. Uh, we have the Samez, which is a two wheel. Like this unfolds down, and you have two pinwheels. That's probably the best bang for your buck right there. Uh, the Merge Max is going to be god awful expensive, um, and we don't. The Coon's huge, so it depends on how big the field is that you're dealing with, but. This is kind of like an in-between one that we're using. Oh, sorry. But you can see here, if we run this this way, then you can get one single big pile and get lots of bales of grass off of that. 
Now, should we have made this into hay? Maybe. I don't know. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Now, you can still make this into hay, but it'll make a mess. If I get that, if I get that tether and run over my pile, it's going to spread it all out again and make it into hay. But then I'd have to re-windrow it. So I, windrow, windrow always comes last right before you collect. And collecting would be bailing or using the collection wagon. So let's go over here now, and we're going to um, windrow our hay because we need to make some hay bales. There's our nice little row. I'm going to try to steer clear of the bale there. Probably should have run this the other way. <laughs> Whoops. So, what are your favorites? The benefits of round bales and square bales, square bales, this is always kind of a debate. This game allows us two different square bales. We have the tiny ones, which are very useful for the small farm. Uh, you can hand move those around, so once you've collected them, you can throw them into a barn and then, you know, bring out one or two of them, throw them in the back of a pickup truck or something and then feed your animals. Um, very uh, flexible as far as moving them around and stuff. However, they're small, so you have to, you know, feed a lot of them to your animals, and there's a lot of handling going on. Uh, then you have the round balers. Round balers are nice because they're uh, affordable, and, you know, they can you can even get, you know, some of them with the built-in wrappers on them. Um, so that saves some space and, and having to buy equipment. Um, so I like the round baler. The problems with the round balers is that unless you get the Vicon, which is a add-on DLC. It's free, but it's an add-on. Um, they're non-continuous, so they have to stop running each time you unload a bale. Um, and the other downside to them is that you have to, they, they roll downhill. So if you're, if you're on a hilly map, you're going to have a hard time with the round bales because they're going to be constantly rolling. But once again, the nice thing about them is that you can wrap them as you make them. So that does save some time. Um, and last but not least, you have the big square bales. Big square bales have uh, a couple pros. One, it's continuous bailing. Um, you don't have to stop every time you let go of a bale. You just keep running and running and running. Um, the downside, they're very heavy. You also need big tractors to run them. So if you're on a hilly property, you're going to need a 300 horsepower tractor to run some of these big balers. Um, the other problem with the or the other benefit of the big bales is because they're square. They don't roll down hills, so they're good in hilly country though. So. Big tractor, but good on hills. Now, you'll see here, we are collecting uh, hay. And what's going to happen is you'll notice that the wrapper does not wrap this bale because it is actually hay, and you don't want to bale hay. You don't want to wrap hay. Not bale. You don't want to wrap hay. Um, and I don't think we have enough hay to get another square bale, so we're going to leave that. But I just wanted to show you this so that you can see that the wrapper will not wrap that uh, hay bale. Oop, we have to stop when it's full. So there we go. And it'll just, we just ready to drop it. And there we go and drop it off. We can continue our, on our merry way, collecting hay. So hay, once again, direct feed for horses, direct feed for limousine and longhorn cows. And it is also part of the mixture that makes TMR for your milk cows. So that's why you want to make hay. Several animals use it. It's not really making it worth like selling. You're better off making silage if you're going to sell it. But if you're not going to make silage bales, then hay it is. If you're going to feed your animals, you need hay. So we have now completed this portion of the tutorial. Uh, we've made all three types of material off of grass. We've got our, our grass bales, we've got our hay bales, and we've got our silage bales. And I'm hoping that this all made sense to you. Once again, silage goes specifically to feeding milk cows. 
hay ghost defeating the horses and the um, meat cows and grass ghost defeating your sheep so that's how we make it and uh, you've seen it all now I am gonna rent a wrapper like I promised so I'll be right back and I'll show you us wrapping a couple of these grass bales so you can see how it works we'll even wrap I don't think I have I have one grass bale round left so we'll wrap that too um, yo yo I'll be right back all right so we have come back with the wrapper and like I promised I'm gonna wrap a bale wrap a wrap a wrap a So you can see this one does both round and square. That's why I picked it. Okay, and let's see. What else? We, what do we got growing over here? I'm hoping that we have wheat. Yeah, okay. It's going to be crappy wheat, but we're going to use that to do our straw demonstrations here in a minute. Um, so there's that. And then we're going to grab this grass bale. And you can see here, this also wraps these square bales, which is why I recommend the bigger one. If you have square bales, obviously the little one isn't going to wrap this. You, <laughs> the little one will do round only. So the big, the big square wrapper is the one that you want. Now, if you're going to have square bales, the big ones, you have to buy this. And I also need to point out once again, this will not wrap small bales. So get that out of your head. It doesn't work with the small. You cannot make silage from small bales. All right. So that pretty much covers this section of our tutorial. But we have a hanging question in the air, um, and I'm gonna we're gonna take it back to our collection wagon. All right. So let's say we have cows, and instead of doing bales, we want to use this simple trailer, and we want to make silage, and we want to make hay, and we want to make straw. How do we do that? Well, we've already collected the grass for the silage. Okay. So we're going to, that's, that's in our tank right now. We were going to feed it to the sheep, but now we need to make silage for our cows. This is a pain in the butt a little bit. Okay. You need to have one big thing and, and, uh, on the farm and we don't have it yet. So I'm going to have to build it. You need what's called a silo, uh, not the silos that we Americans think of like the tall thing where they put grains, but an actual on the ground silage silo. Um, why isn't it going through? There we go. And we'll just get the smallest one for now. Uh, $25,000 for a silo. Some farms come with them. Some farms don't. Uh, this one happened to not to. And we're going to put that here. I don't want to take up field space. But we also need to make sure uh, we need to make room for the other. Bless you. Um, we'll put this here. I want to be able to get in and out of the other end. Uh, I mean, I suppose, hang on, let me, hang on. All right, I moved things around a little bit. I moved those tractors, uh, the tractor that was in the way. So we're going to put this here. And then we're also going to need one of these. This is what you, for, for doing loose material on your farm, you're going to need that. And you're going to also need one of these. Now, there's an American style one in the Mod Hub, finally. It took a month to get it there. I don't know why Giants hasn't given one of their own. But we don't have one yet from Giants. So this is what we got. And I need to put this here so we can drive in and out of it. And maybe like that. Stupid buildings. There we go. Okay. So that's where we store, once again, this building. We cannot store grass. But you're not, if you're doing this for cows, you need silage, hay, and straw. So you're not going to need to store grass. Um, but this, this, this is where we store our hay, 250,000 liters, and our straw, up to 250,000 liters. So 500 total, but you can't, it's 250 of each. You can't go over 250 of each type. Then, over here is where we're going to put our grass. This is a silage bunker. What we do is instead of wrapping bales, we're going to do this. We're going to pop this grass into here by dumping it and you'll see it changes color it becomes what's called chaff and that chaff is what we're going to use to um, turn into silage I probably need another trailer full before I can close this to demonstrate but we're making silage right now so instead of using bales we're using this to make silage I'm going to go collect a little bit more grass and we are unfortunately going to have to make one of these trails into hay uh, I did it just to show you, but I need hay for this demonstration. So we're going to take that middle one 
and we're going to windrow, or we're going to we're going to end up screwing up our windrow and turning it into hay using the tether, and then we're going to store it so you can see that. So once again, this is the method that you use to feed your cows. Well, to prepare for feeding your cows, if you don't want to do bales. We're going to have a separate tutorial on actually feeding the cows. We're going to do a tutorial for each animal. So this will kind of be recovered in those. But I'm giving you, at least right now, the ability to see how you make the products that we're going to be talking about in those videos. Because I'm not going to re-show you how to make hay. This is how you make hay in this video. Uh, all right, so we're going to come over here to our bunker and drop more grass off. This should be enough for us to be able to make this into silage. So what, once again, silage is basically rotted grass and cows need it as part of their diet. And you mix it with hay and they eat both the hay and the rotted grass. And together they're called TMR or total mixed ration. All right, so we've got that in there. And now what we need to do is we're gonna come back over here. I'm gonna open my help menu. And you can see at the bottom, when I drive into the bunker, it shows me how much is in there. I've got 24,000 liters of chaff, which is grass, uh, and I'm going to compact it. Now, we'll also make a separate silage tutorial because there's some equipment used that can make chaff out of other crops too, not just grass. And we'll, so we'll take a look at all of that. But you can see here, as I drive back and forth on this pile of stuff, it's going to a higher compaction rate. We need to get that to 100%. Uh, and honestly, we're doing this way early. If I were you, I would fill this bunker up all the way or as much as possible before covering it to get as much silage as possible. Uh, that way we don't have to keep doing it over and over again. But right now, for learning purposes, we're going to cover this thing up early. Um, they do have tools at the store that you can rent. Uh, where are they? Um, let, we got... These silo compaction tools, which help it go a lot faster. They're basically heavy weights, and they smush the silage around. Uh, I don't have one on the farm. You could even take one, like one, put on the front and one on the back and speed things up. Uh, if you were going to make silage, I would have those. We'll cover those in the silage tutorial. But in the meantime, I'm just going to keep driving back and forth until this is completely flattened out. So I'll see you in a couple minutes, because this will probably take me about 10 minutes. All right, so I've gotten to 100%, and these uh, this is all filled up. So let's go ahead and pull off here. You can see it says 100% on there. When I go back and walk on it, it'll say 100%. And you can notice now, on my left, I got a left trigger or left uh, joystick click that says blanket silo. So what this does is this covers it, and now you can see it changed to say fermenting silage. So what's happening is the silage is now cooking. It'll take approximately two in-game days or months, however you have it set, uh, for it to become silage. So in two days' time or two months' time on your one-day calendar, um, it's going to become silage. But it takes a little while for that to happen, so you got to be patient. Uh, but then you can take that. So now we've got that taken care of. We need some hay, and we need some straw. So we're going to go grab our little... Trail. Well, the first thing we do is we need to make hay. So let's pretend we've already mowed. And where did my trailer go? I don't remember what I thought. Oh, there it is. Um, so we're going to go ahead and ted this and windrow it. So once again, we've mowed. We've, we're tedding and we're windrowing. We've been through all this already. So we're going to make some hay out of our grass that's already on the field. Nicely windrowed. Oh, well, what are you going to do? I think it'll still make it pretty narrow. Yeah. Nope. It's going to spread it all over. So we're turning this grass into hay for our demonstration. But it's a pretty easy demonstration. So you've seen how to make silage. You collect the grass. You put it in the bunker. You let it cook over, overnight, over, to, over a day and a half, two days, and you will have your silage. Then you're going to come back and make hay of the rest of your grass, out of the rest of your grass, and we're going to turn that into hay, and we're going to store that, and then we're going to get straw off of our wheat field, and we're going to store that, 
And then as our cows need food, we get our mixer wagon. You'll, you'll have to buy a mixer wagon. And we're going to mix the food for the cows. And I'm going to show you that in another tutorial. So don't we're not worrying about that tonight. We're just getting the materials ready so you can see what you need and how to make it. So we've made that grass into hay, and now we're going to make it collectible for our wagon. And you can see that's making it back into a nice pile. All that mess that we had. All right, we've got our little collection wagon here. It's been emptied because we made silage, and now we are making hay. And so we're going to grab all this hay here, and basically all we do with it is store it in that barn until we need it. Pretty easy stuff. So you take the grass, you make silage, you take the hay, you store it, and then we're going to get straw off that last field. And straw, once again, pretty much the sheep don't need it, but the horses, the cows, and the... Um, pigs all need it so it's a pretty useful material straw is nice because you get it free when you have a wheat crop uh, the only downside is if you decide to do a grass farm like I did this on my Swiss farm I did just grass and I real and I have cows and I'm realizing oh gosh I need straw so then I have to I'm gonna have to buy a field and a harvester and all this stuff to get it you can also just buy it from the shop but it's fairly expensive so it's, you're better off growing your own eventually all right so we're putting this uh hay into the barn and you can see if I if I look at the storage barn it tells me that there's 13 14,800 in the loft and then if I need to get it back I turn the wagon off I believe this will let me do this I can come back under here yep and I can dump the hay back into the thing and feed it to my animals or mix it in the mixer so there's all kinds of things you can do with that but any any trailer will work for that 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 supports hay or your TMR mixer, you can fill it. Like, got to be real careful, though, that you don't overfill it, because if you screw up the TMR, you're going to have to unmix it, which is a disaster. So, yeah, so that's that. And so let's get that last final crop of straw. That's the last thing that we haven't covered. It's the fourth material that is in the feeding animals. So we've covered grass. We've covered hay. We've covered silage. All we have left is straw. And straw, thankfully, is the easiest of the group. So I will be back once this crop grows. Give me one second here. All right, so now the easiest part of the whole tutorial, making straw. You guys should know how to do this, I would hope. But if not, that's okay. If you've never harvested or it's a new game to you, well, when you run a harvester, it makes a straw swath. That easy. There's your straw. Now, you need to be harvesting wheat, oats, barley, or rye for this to work. The other thing that you need to make sure is, and I don't, let's see, looking on the instructions, um, you want to make sure that the uh, disable swath, swath, straw swath, swath, swath off, uh, is, it said, make sure it says disable. If it says enable, watch this. Now, if I'm going and I see this, this is not making straw. That's making a mess, okay? So you got to stop. You're going to hold down your left bumper, and you're going to press right on your direction pad. That'll turn that off, and now you're going to get a nice trail of straw. <coughs> Some farms, you know, they don't want to get the straw. They don't want to deal with the straw, so they just destroy it and spread it all over the field. That's fine. But for feeding our cows, we need to have that straw. So... I'm going to go ahead and hire a worker and let him continue to harvest that field. And in the meantime, we're going to continue our collection. So there's two things we can do to collect. The first one, we're going to continue this loose material collection. Loose, loose material collection. <laughs> and what we're going to do is now we're going to get the straw. So we've got the silage being cooked, which it should be done by now. In fact, let's check. We check these bales. It should say done, right? Yep, 6,000 liters of silage, 3,500 liters of silage. And if we go check our bunker, that's going to be all silage too. Because um, the days have passed. I had to let the days pass for the harvest to grow. So those, those have cooked, and now they're silage. Um, so we've collected hay. That's being stored in our barn. We've collected straw or silage. That is being stored in the pit. 
And now we're collecting. Um, I'm sorry. Let me start over. <laughs> We've collected the hay. That's in the in the the uh, storage facility. We've collected silage. The silage is in the pit. And now we're collecting straw. And the straw is also going to go in the storage facility. Once again, horses need straw, cows need straw, pigs need straw for manure. Sheep do not need straw. So we're going to go ahead and dump this off here. And you can see those are the three materials that we need for our animals. There we go, and it's dumping. And we're going to head over here, and you can see the silage is done. So if I head over here to my, my menus open, the controls are open, and I can see here it is 100% fermented. And I press R, and it opens that first bunker area. Now I can go all the way down and open the whole thing, but you only open a little at a time, and then we mix it with our straw and our hay to make silage. That's it for the loose collection method. Now for baling, same idea, but this time we're going to run a baler. And this is wrapping up quickly. Very easy stuff here. We're going to grab this big McCormick. <laughs> and, you know, whatever type bales you're making, whether they be square or round or small square or big square or whatever kind of square, um, those are going to be, uh, this is where you do this for straw. Obviously, try to make them uniform. You don't want round of one and square of another. You don't need two different balers. You just need one. So we're going to go ahead and do this in the big square baler. And actually, we'll go down this side and come back the other. Now, there's going to be one grass bale that comes out because that was the last thing that we were harvesting, and that's how the game does it. So we're going to shove out a grass bale, and then we'll start getting uh, straw. Once again, I would recommend straw, uh, storing any of your bales except for silage inside. Get a big barn, store them inside. If you do not do that, what's going to happen is they're going, supposedly they're going to rot. I don't know. I have to test that part of the game. I haven't figured that out yet, but um, at least with the old version of Seasons, they would rot. Uh, and people have said that they do, but I haven't seen it myself. You may be able to just leave them outside, but I honestly... If it rains or whatever, in real life, you wouldn't leave straw just sitting outside. It would get ruined. So my recommendation is that you take the straw that you make and you put it inside. Regardless of the size of the bale. And so let's follow that guy up. I'm going to dump these out. You see, there's our first straw bale. That's all we need, really. Um, so what we have here is 4,000 liters of straw. So if you have TMR, once again, you're going to take one of these bales. You're going to take one of these bales. And you're going to take one of our hay bales. I believe this is hay that I don't, I don't remember. One of them is hay. And you're going to mix. So it can be, it's going to be, well, we'll, te we'll teach you that in the cow. I'm not going to do that now. But you've seen all of the four types that we have. We have grass bales. We have... Uh, straw bales we have hay bales and um, we have the wrapped silage bales and so that's everything you need to know I mean those are pretty much the four types of materials that you get off these fields uh, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below I try to cover everything but like I said this game has so many different ways of doing things that I can't possibly cover every little thing uh, but I try to do the best that I can hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and once again there's a lot of playing going on a lot to do but there's a lot to this so Hopefully this makes sense to you and you now see how we get the four different materials that we need to feed our animals. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial, which will be all about cows. Bye.